Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Video Analytics 101. Today we have a super cool topic that's very unusual from the video analytics and deep learning perspective. Do you know the situations where you have huge demonstrations with thousands of people and afterwards the police is saying there were a thousand people there and the organizers are saying there were 5,000 people there. Well, what if I tell you there is a solution to settle this and this solution is called crowd estimation. And today I'm gonna to show you how this actually works. Okay, let's dive right in. Today we're talking about crowd estimation. Why is this special? Well, because traditional video analytics methods, they, they can count people. So for example, when people go in and out of, of a place, and you can use this information to figure out how many people are in the space by like subtracting people going out from people going in. And they can also count how many people are in, this, in an image right now. But with traditional deep learning methods, this is only possible so far. So traditionally with uh, regular products on the market, you can count how many people there are up to 20 or 30 or maybe even 40 people. But then it basically stops because the accuracy gets so low that it doesn't really make any sense. But if you talk about large crowds that I mentioned before, like thousands of people, hundreds of people, then it's really, really hard. And only recently there have been new approaches in research, how to make this work. Um, one motivation to do this was the Hajj. If you don't know the Hajj, that's the yearly pilgrimage to Mecca that is happening in Saudi Arabia. And there are millions of people and you want to count this and this, it's very hard. So that's actually a separate field of research, crowd detection, crowd counting, crowd management, crowd estimation to figure out methods how this can be done automatically. And only re recently there have been good approaches that make this work. And I'm going to show you the current state of the art that's cutting edge what we are doing here today. So let's start off with a few examples. And if you're listening to this as audio only on the podcast, I encourage you to later watch the YouTube video because I'm showing a few examples that make it easy to understand. So let's start off with an image of a typical top-down camera. Well, I guess we as humans, we immediately know this is one person there. Um, but even, as, uh, even, even for um, automatic video analytics, this is also possible. This is typical people counting where you use a so-called person detector to detect there is a person and then you might track this person uh, that is crossing a line. And if you want to know more about this, how this works, check out my video on how people counting works and I'm explaining all the details there. So this is already possible, okay? Let's take another example. Um, here, we have an image of uh, people on the street with a bunch of people and just think for yourself, how many, how many people do you think there are in this image? Well, personally, I would have said 30, 35 maybe. Well, it's actually 96 people. And it just shows you how hard it is for us humans um, to accurately estimate the amount of people because we look at the people in front and we don't see all the people in the back. That, that are also there. Let's take a more extreme example, and that's really a crowd. How many people would you expect there? Well, me personally, again, I would uh, probably say maybe around 200, 100-ish. It's actually over 700 people. And if we take my 200 and compare it to 700, that's lower than a 30% accuracy. And it doesn't really make any sense, right? Uh, if it's 30% accurate, it doesn't even make sense to, to count demonstrations. And I know the police is more accurate, but it's also not super accurate, right? Um, and there the automatic methods come in of crowd estimation. And these can go to typically 85 up to 90% accurate, which considering how bad we as humans are is super good, actually. It's a super good estimate. Um, and especially since you can count all the people in the back and that's really where the mass of people are. We always only consider the people in the front. So how does this work? Well, this works completely different to typically deep learning approaches. So typically we would train a network to detect individual people. So we showed a bunch of people, a bunch of persons, and then the network learns how a person looks like and would try to detect in this image, the persons, and it would do a fairly good job in the front, but in the back, it would completely fail. So what we are doing with crowd estimation is we are 
labeling images like this, not by marking all the people, but we're just putting a dot on the head. So we're just saying, there's a head, there's a head, there's a head, just, just a dot there. And then we train the network with thousands of these images. And basically what we're doing is we're teaching the network how a crowd looks like. We're not teaching it how a person looks like, but how a crowd looks like, how a crowd with 100 people looks like, how a crowd with 200 people looks like, how a crowd with 500 people looks like. And that this is what it's learning. It's essentially learning what's called the density of a crowd. Um, let me show you how that uh, looks like when we visualize it. I took here an image of a demonstration recently here in Vienna. Uh, it was a quite big one, actually. In the end, there were 40,000 people there. But uh, I took one image there that was uh, all over the news. Um, again, pretty hard to count for a human being. But if I sent it into crowd estimation, this is what I get as an output. So it tells me it's 317 people. And what you see here in the visualization is the orange part is all where it estimated a density of people. And this is not on a person basis, but on a pixel basis. So for each pixel, it tells you how, how likely is it that this belongs to a person or to a head. So each pixel might have a value of 0.1, for example. Um, and a head is made up of 10 pixels, so to say. So one head is one, and each pixel in the head counts as 0.1. And these are all the orange pixels. And what we're doing is we're counting together all these values. We're summing up all these values to come up with the number in the end. So the sum of all these numbers here in this example is 317. And intuitively, you would say, how can this work? I mean, how can a single pixel know how, how much it contributes to the overall crowd, how, how much it contributes to an individual person? And this is, uh, so to say, the, the black box of deep learning where we do not know exactly how the network does it, but it does it, it learns. Because we train it how crowds look like, we do not train it how persons look like. And remarkably, this works very well. As I mentioned before, 85% is absolutely a value you can expect. It can even go higher depending on the scene. And, uh, and this is being used more and more, but this is cutting edge state of the art. It is just coming out of research and trickling down into products right now. And we will see more of this coming. And what you can do with this is you can use it for uh, public safety, as I mentioned, for demonstrations. You can use it for festivals to estimate how many people there are for safety reasons. Or you can use it for transit. You can estimate how many people there are in Central Station right now or on just any railway platform out there to optimize flow, to distribute the amount the, the people uh, differently on the platform. And there are hundreds of other applications for this out there. Just remember, it is an estimation, right? So uh, do, not, um, do not use this for, um, for a fire drill, for example, to know how many people are left in the building, because it is 85% accurate. But it is very, very useful when you deploy it on existing cameras, on new cameras, just to get statistics to, uh, to help um, your operations, to improve flow. There are many, many other applications and this is just coming up right now. So that's it, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to get a little bit into more detail. Um, if you want to know even more, just let me know. There's only so much we can do in these kind of videos. Again, if you watch this as audio only, maybe go back afterwards and look at the YouTube videos so you see what types of crowd I'm talking about. So thank you again. Do not forget to subscribe as always. Just a reminder, we're also available on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. And otherwise, thanks for watching and see you next time.